Hello, this is Neil, the art instructor at masterpainnow.com and Udemy. I'm going to show you how to draw a face in three-fourths view. That is more of an extreme three-fourths view. One thing I wanted to keep in mind when drawing a face in three-fourths view, as I talked about with the smile, is this side contour line right here. So this side contour line is going to be visible in three-fourths view. It's just not going to be as pronounced. So let's start out by constructing our face here. Now the first thing I like to do when I do extreme three-fourths view, and three-fourths view in general, but especially uh, extreme three-fourths view, is after you have your circle, let's go ahead and divide it where you want the center line to be. So let's say I want my center line to be somewhere like that. That's not necessarily how far I'm going to make the chin go down. Then I'm going to divide that circle in half. I'm going to divide that in half and get almost in half again, a little less than half. And that right there is going to be where, my, where I want my eyes to go. Way back here, I'm going to kind of cut some of this off like as if it were kind of like this. All right? Let's go right through there. I'm going to put the ear in this section over here. About like that. That's about where my ear is going to fit into. Now, how I do the rest of this construction, I think, is really important. Once I know that I have my eye line here, my eyes are going to fit on that line. You can see here, they fit on kind of a, I put them on almost a straight line here, straight and then straight. So everything's kind of fit on a straight line. You can do it on a slight angle if you want to, but straight works out pretty good. And so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is my eyebrow line up there. I know that's where I have this slight shape here. I like to come down almost like, almost a straight line or kind of follow the nose and then come that is, my nose is going to fit right into this section here. It's not going to, it's not going to go down very far from the eye. So first, if I added my eye construction, construction here, say my, my nose and eyebrows will be somewhere in here, my eye is going to fit in this section right here. Like that. The nose is kind of blocking. The eye would continue like that, but the nose is blocking part of the view of the eye. I'm going to come down right to here. I'm not going to go very far with the nose. By doing this, I think you make a much more a sexy cartoon face. And then I'm going to show you how to draw the lips and everything in that three-fourths view. But first, we got to get the construction, the construction of the face down. That's, a, that's where the nostril is. And then you have your nose flare like that. Take that same length. Imagine it coming across here. And then that's where your other eyes are going to start. Your other eyes are going to be the same length as well. Making sure you have this correct is going to really sell how that face looks in extreme three-fourths view. That eyebrow kind of comes off over there. Right, so that kind of gives us notice how the nose isn't very far down from the eyes. And I like to even sometimes bring it a little bit higher than this right now. That is, I like, to, I like it to fall right on my circle. So let's just bring it up like that to where it falls right on that original circle I had drawn there. Now, how far the mouth goes down isn't very far past the nose. As you can see, you have, the, you have almost the same equal length. So the length here is the same as almost the length from here to here. Rather, from the... Let's go back here. Oh, I think I just messed up my nose. Okay, hold on. Right, so the length from here to here is pretty much the same length as from here to here. That is, if I take this length here, I can pretty much mimic that length down there, and that's going to be the bottom of my lips, right, as you can see. I like that look. It looks good. I like to keep my center line, this is my imaginary kind of basic construction center line, coming at a slight angle. I don't like it to be straight, so I want to have a slight angle to it. My face is going to come off, kind of follow the nose, and then it's going to kind of come in like this. I want to keep that same length, this length right here in mind, from here to here, for where my bottom of my lips is going to be. That way I know I can fit my lips about where my lips are going to fit into in this construction here. Just basic, and then I know I can kind of fit my face construction into that, I can kind of even swoop, I can kind of swoop this line in 
and then come out to the chin. Now typically I won't make the chin quite as long as I would if it were a shadowed real face or a more realistic face where I have more shadowing and stuff. Because what happens is if you take a face and just shade it, now what you're going to notice here right away is that if I come across here like that, come across here like this, this face is already looking longer. In fact, let's go ahead and look at that really fast. But if you if you trace a, an outline of a face, you'll notice that, um, notice how much longer that face is. So I need to make the chin and the lips come up a lot higher. Although the eyes, see the eyes and nose ratio looks good. As you can see, it's like pretty much the same. I made the lips come down way too far, therefore the chin come down way too far. And so it's easy to fix. But if you trace a face, you'll notice that it comes out way too, um, the chin looks really huge because there's no shadow and stuff. It's all the shadows and stuff that make the face not look as big. So remember, take the same length here. We'd go from here to here. Take that length come down, and know it's actually shorter, so you, rather let's take the length from the center of the eyes, what I meant to say, to bottom of the nose. Take that same length down to the bottom of the lip. If we do that, take that same length down, or you can kind of imagine a V coming between here to the bottom of the lip anyway. You don't want your lip to fall down too far or be too big. Knowing that then, our mouth has to add a very basic placement then of the mouth. Knowing that's going to come down to right about here. Right, so that's just a very basic place of the mouth. Once you have that, you know the chin doesn't want to come down too far past the bottom of the lip. I like to kind of like, I like to kind of swoop. If I have my chin kind of in this area here. I like to soup that shape up like that. Zoom in so it's easier to draw. Come, make sure you come down with the jawline. It comes at an angle, but make sure that you can see the jawline here. Make sure you also you have enough space between your your outer head away over here, the back of your head, and your eye. You have like another almost three eyes, two and a half eyes or so. So if you measure that out, one, two and a half eyes. So the edge over here is good. But we need to make sure we have our ear more toward the back side. So our ear wants to fit somewhere. And here I just like to draw an oval for where it's going to be. And you want to come down, not straight down. You don't want it to be like a block jaw. If you come straight down like this and then come over this way, it's going to look a little strange. Come at a slight angle like that, down to almost almost where the lip is. Not quite the edge of the lip, but almost. A little bit higher. Then you start curving inward like so. That gives you a good construction of the face. If you follow that for a construction guideline of the, of the three extreme three-fourths view of the face, you're going to get something that looks cool almost every time. You know, sometimes you might mess up with the with the uh, eye placement and stuff like that. Now, let's talk about. I'm going to come even more at an angle here. On the nose. Bring the nose out even further to the edge of the face here. Right, that works. I'm going to talk about that center line now because that center line is so very important. What I mean by that center line is, I'll show you in just a second, that contour line I showed you from the side view.
getting that shape down just right really makes a difference of how pretty the face will be. The chin, the back of the neck over here. Right, so now we know where the eyes will fit and everything fits because we have the construction down correctly. Eyes are slightly more oval. The more you tend toward the uh, three-fourths or the side view, the profile view, the more oval your eyes become. Remember, from a side view, your eyes kind of look like this. That's the actual pupil and iris from side view. It becomes very oval. So the more you turn your character toward that view, the more naturally, the more uh, of an angle you're going to see to the eye, the more oval the eye will become. Sorry, I kind of lost track of thought as I'm drawing here. Now this is really important. I want to take that center line, the contour lines over here, the side view, and I want to see them in my face here. So they kind of come down like this, comes like this, comes in the center. You have the lip that comes out like that. You have the bottom lip and part of the, and then the chin like that. So that end it. Now from just that angle, it looks very weird, but watch, we're going to see how that line indeed presents itself when we're, when we're drawing. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have that that kind of construction center line here. Notice how more chin is on this side than on this side over here. reason why this is because of foreshortening. Everything on this side gets foreshortened. That's turning away from us. So if I imagine that center line there, I'm going to first draw right this right, right in here. I'm going to draw, I'm going to make it very light actually. I need to use a lighter color to make this really light. There we go. More of my lip is going to be of this. This if this is the uh, curvature of the lip. Notice more of it is on on the foreshortened or less of it's on the foreshortened side than the side that's closest to me. That's important. Then I can draw the lip coming down here, like that. Now that center line right here. Still, I can draw the center of the lip comes out. Now what I mean by the center of the lip, if you view the lip, it has your front piece, your two side pieces, and then two bottom pieces for your bottom lip. This is the dip here, comes down like this. Right, this is the basic construction of lips. Like that, right? This center piece right here, that center line right there, that's what I'm talking about right now. From side view, we can see that center line comes out like this before it hits inwards like that, comes out to the nose, right? So if you have the nose coming, just give a quick idea here. You have the bottom lip, doesn't come out as far as the top lip, there's an angle here, right? So that contour line right there, it's really important. And so from that side view, you can see, that'd be the chin, right? That lip sticks out. Because it sticks out, as it turns toward three-fourths view, it has to move away from that center line, out like this. I'm actually going to make the center line come more over here. So that way I'd start that center of the lip like that. So it's coming out like that. I'm not going to draw all that, though. I'm just showing it for now. I'm going to come down like this. And here is where we have the shape of the lip as it overlaps, right? This is that, we have the center part here, which is being foreshortened like that. You have the other piece here, you have the other piece over here, which is being really foreshortened. And then it can come off from here. Now sometimes, depending on how the, the face is drawn, you can actually see the connection of that bottom lip coming off like this. See the mouth slightly open. You can actually see where, they're, where the lips are connecting together on that side. Other times, it's going to be more like, it's going to have a shape more like that as it comes out to the bottom lip. We have a space here. 
something like so. It really just depends on how big the lips are and, and how extreme in three-fourths view you're going. All right, so now we have a, a cute girl. And then you just decide about the hair. So the hair can be anything you want. Of course, like I said, this is a really quick sketch here. I didn't want the video to go on too long. For those of you that are signed up for my subscription course the, or subscription channel, paid for channel, you want me to go more in detail about this uh, subject here, just let me know and I'll make this one of the topics that I cover in that uh, subscription channel where you go in more detail with a longer explanation video and answering questions and stuff like that you guys might have. Now notice I, I still am a little bit longer in the face than over than over here. So there's different, you know, different styles you can do. Notice here I went a little bit longer with the chin. I don't I, I can I can make it exact like I did over there if I wanted to. That's you know, either one, you know, every face is a little different. Now one way to do that is to kind of go like this. It's like if you're already in the sketching and you don't feel like redrawing or anything, go to transform and mesh transformation. And under the sub tool here, you can turn up the amount of things you have, of points. We can kind of start to, you know, reconstruct this a little bit here. Make it a little bit shorter. Now you can see it kind of matches more. And then another thing I might do is redo this outside face line just a little bit here. I can really exaggerate this more cartoon style where I kind of come here and I really swoop in here, come out to the chin. That adds that more curve. I don't, I didn't, you know, this is really exaggerated here. You could use that, and you know, it does look cute. I can, you can tell I can turn that to a cute person, but you don't have to go that extreme with it. Right now, finally, after you have all that done, it's hair. So hair, you know, I kind of imagine where the ear is going to be at, so I know if I want to show any of the ear, I can. Let's have this center line here. I'm just going to kind of pull one piece of hair right here. The other piece is going to kind of come and hide here. And then we'll have a piece of hair coming forward over that hair from more of the middle of the head here, coming down right here, kind of making a bang. So it's overlapping that piece. The hair is kind of coming here, coming along, coming down the side. Let's see all this right here is going to kind of come together. There's going to be a, maybe a slight gap between this piece of hair and these hair here. This is now kind of getting to the back hair as well. And then the, maybe the back hair kind of flows behind the shoulder here, like that. And so these this bang here is, isn't going to go out nearly as far. Something like that, and you might see some of the hair down here like this. I like to add just a little bit of shadow right here. kind of helps see the face a little bit better. Start to add just a little bit of shadow into the face there. Kind of smooth. Oops. Grab white. Kind of smooth that out a little bit. There you have it. So that's how you draw the face in three-fourths view. Hopefully that's helpful. Just keep in mind that that, that contour line is coming off of that, that made-up center line. So that construction line you draw, you want to imagine that side profile line making its way into your face. If you do, your faces will come out better because of it. So let's go ahead now and show that contour line really quickly before we end this video. That, so you have that side center line coming in here like this comes here, comes like that, comes across here, comes dips in, comes out. So you can see that construction line is there in the three-fourths view. Now, I went with a much more, um, you know, stylized, you know, face here. And now if I go over here and match it up, we can probably see 
this matches up quite nicely with this kind of construction here. And you can see with that little bit of mesh work I did. Actually, I want to go back here. Okay. Let's pull this over here. You can see it matches up almost perfectly, actually. But I didn't go quite as extreme with that turn right there. Basically, what I wanted you to see is that if you have a construction here, you can see I can turn into a cute girl. I can use that very similar construction, and then just imagine I wanted to teach that center line how to add that in there. And I might make her head less tall because typically women actually have, usually women have less tall foreheads than men. So I'm going to bring the hair down, hairline down a little bit. I still don't like the total shape of the chin right here. I could kind of like round it out a little bit. Like that, add a little bit of shadow to it. Something like that looks a little better. All right, folks, that's it. So just keep in mind, three-fourths view includes the profile line for the center line that determines where the center of things fall. One thing I probably would change actually on the lip here just a little bit is I might bring that down to where it's going to be more like that. Peripheral pre preference here, just style the lip that I want here. That's right there, the center of, so this is like kind of like the center of that lip. That's the center of the bottom lip, just if you're wondering. That's why I drew that little line there. Lastly, I'm going to take the ink brush here, add a little highlight to the lip, to the eyes, and voila. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Um, you know, I have tons of videos on the channel, over 600 videos as of the time I'm making this video. And again, if you want to see more um, detailed instructions and drawing uh, three fourths of views, especially uh, extreme three fourths views, let me know uh, what you'd like to know more about it and I will make it on the subscription channel. That's where I put my longer lessons, like, you know, spend like an hour on something. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more free tutorials. Visit my website as well for all kinds of cool stuff, masterpaintingnow.com.